Good morning and welcome to Morning Praise and Prayer on this Wednesday morning. It's eight o'clock. We are using the first service in the Methodist Worship Book of Britain and in order for morning prayer in the United Methodist Hymnal and the prayer list for December 6th, 2020 for Newark United Methodist Church as the basis for our time together today. The picture is from the Isle of Iona. It's a bench I sat on um, as I watched folks go up and down the hill and I listened to bees buzz around me. Uh, the memory was triggered by today's gospel reading. You'll see, see what I mean, hopefully, uh, yeah. when we get to that point. Make sure behind you. Oh Lord, open our lips and we shall declare your praise. Loving God, we have come to worship you. New every day is your love, great God of light. And all day long, you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Our scripture reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. Beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And our psalm this morning, the 85th, verses 1 through 2 and verses 8 through 13. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restore the fortunes of Jacob. You forgive the in inequity of your people and pardon all their sins. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory will dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Let us give thanks to God. For the love of our Father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the world's beauty and the changing seasons, and for the life that we have been given, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for his rule over all things and his presence in the world. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the Holy Spirit, the giver of life who teaches and guides us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks 
be to God. For the grace of the Spirit and the work of the church and the life of the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. For what are you grateful to God this day? When I came out of the house this morning, flurries were falling. And I was so excited. I, you know, I, you know, I don't want to drive in snow. I don't want it to pile up eight miles high, but it brought back the joyful memory of when I was a little kid, real little in kindergarten. I had this red plush coat my mother had picked out. And when the snow would fall, I would reach out my arm and let the flakes fall upon it. And so I found myself doing that with my fleece today. And that just brought me a happy moment. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us lift up our concerns to God. Eternal God, loving parent, we pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity, we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work. For all our neighbors. For those who have lost work or at risk of losing their jobs. For families that have lost loved ones this week. For all who grieve. For those who are finding it difficult to work from home. Those alone and who feel forgotten those affiliated with the University of Delaware. For those who are without a home at risk of losing their home. For first responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel. For organizations and volunteers who are feeding those in need that they have enough resources to meet the need. For students, teachers, administrators, staff, parents, and others who support them. For local businesses struggling in these difficult times. For those experiencing food insecurity. For those who are in prison and their friends and family. For those with or suffering from the after effects of COVID-19. For individuals and families facing difficult decisions. For strength and safety for all caring for those with COVID-19. For our governmental leaders. And for those we might name aloud or silently now. That we may so use your gifts that together we might find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, and for the cares of this community. For those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction. Those suffering with mental health issues. For those who are victims of domestic violence. For the family and friends of a paramedic who lost his life due to COVID-19 complications. For all medical health professionals with Thanksgiving and for safety and guidance. For those who serve in our nation's military forces and their families. The church member who has been diagnosed with leukemia and has begun treatments.
continued prayers of gratitude for successful recovery after a liver transplant. For a family member facing further treatment for fast moving breast cancer. For a church family whose father continues to be in hospice care at home. For our nation and the world. For the family and friends of loved ones who have passed on this past year and are deeply loved and missed. For continued healing from most recent surgery. For those receiving hospice care and their families and friends. For the church member who was in the hospital and has been moved to Billcraft. For healing and comfort for a COVID victim who has been on a ventilator for numerous weeks with no improvement. For healing for an individual with stage four cancer. For a friend who had surgery on Wednesday, November the 18th for broken vertebrae. For folks in the Philippines who are struggling with the aftermath of floods wrought by Typhoon Ulysses. For healing from procedures on November 11th and 12th to verify whether cancer from a squamous cell carcinoma over the left eye has gone deeper and then repair those surgical wounds. For comfort and peace for the family and friends of a loved one that passed on after months of illness. For strength, wisdom, faith, and guidance to a clear path forward for a small business owner who is struggling to keep his head above water and is so discouraged. Prayers also for his family, as it is so very difficult to watch a loved one struggle. For continued healing for a church member after a stroke. For the one in need of healing and relief from pain from a broken elbow, and sprained shoulder, arm, wrist, and thumb. For the one in need of healing and pain relief from an ulcer-like condition that manifests itself due to stress. For the one in need of continued healing and strength as doctors continue to run tests to determine causes of breathing difficulty. For a member's grandson, a UD student who tested positive for COVID. For the family and friends of recently lost loved ones. For successful treatment of the one undergoing treatment for leukemia. With gratitude for prayers answered for relief from extreme back pain. With gratitude for prayers answered for finding a job. For the family of a member whose father joined the church triumphant on Sunday. For the man who was attacked and significantly injured in Wilmington yesterday. And for, I'd like to lift up the attacker as well, that uh, that person might come to know the love of God and they do no other harm to others, including to themselves. God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord speak tenderly to you, lift you up, gather you into his arms, reassuring and comforting you all the days of your life. Amen. I hope you all have a really wonderful day.